The building you are now standing in front of is called the Jones Stewart Mansion. It's also known as the Jewel of the James. Albert Jones constructed the mansion in 1854 after 15 years of inhabiting the River House. Local people built the mansion and used mainly local materials in its construction. It features Italianate and Georgian styling, which was simplified by the Stuarts during their time here. The Stuarts also built additions to the mansion in the early 1950s, and this is where they would hold Friday luncheons for their tenants. The interior of the mansion is decorated with many antiques that were donated to the park by the Stuart family. Walking through the mansion gives one a sense of what life was like not only in the 1900s, but also in the 1800s as well. The front of the mansion, as is traditional, faces the James River. This was done so the plantation owners could see who was coming to and leaving from the plantation. During her time at the plantation, Mrs. Stewart also took on many of the bookkeeping responsibilities. In fact, her ledger is still on display in an upstairs bedroom in order to show the link between the plantation's produce and its income. And while it provides a beautiful view of the surrounding area, the cupola on the roof of the mansion also provided climate control by drawing all the hot air in the house up to the cupola and away from those that were living inside the mansion. The brick kitchen was built at the same time as the mansion and also added to in the early 1950s by the Stewarts, the addition being a guest house. The original section served as a kitchen and laundry room. Kitchens were often built separate from plantation houses in order to separate the smoke, smells, and mess from the rest of the house. Clothes were usually washed outside if possible, but inside, women performed tasks like cooking, candle making, and spinning and dyeing cloth. This so-called domestic work was both difficult and important. At the time of the kitchen's construction, it was the second leading cause of death in women right behind childbirth. It was here that the raw products of the plantation were transformed by the women into the food and clothing for the entire plantation. The tour continues at the Farm and Forestry Museum across the street from the River House. As you make your way there, you can learn more about the history of Chip Oaks Plantation by listening to track number six titled, History of Chip Oaks Plantation. <laughs>